Good morning. Today is Friday, September 13th. Yes, it's Friday the 13th. And we are on our way to the Mid-Atlantic Hammock Hangers Association Fall Hang, which is at Caledonia State Park. And it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I just left the house and we have about a 150 mile drive to get there. Uh, GPS says I should get there about 1.30 or so if I don't do any stopping, but I do have to do some stopping because I got to get a bag of ice. So uh, I got a long drive ahead of me. If anything happens on the long drive, which I hope it doesn't, I'll be back to give me an update. Until then, I'll see you in a little bit. Well, it's 199 miles later and we're in the home stretch now. We're half a mile away from the park entrance. Here we are. We made it to the uh, Caledonia State Park group camping area. The place is filling up fast. Parking's gonna be at a premium. There are hammocks everywhere and it's still pretty early. So, Imagine the place is going to be like a full house. Uh, we got bathrooms over here. No showers in there, but the campground's right up the road if you feel the need to do that. But uh, I was going to get me uh, another beverage, but I see we have the authorities over there. So I guess I'll wait a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, charge up my phone. It's getting pretty low already. And uh, I'll probably wait till tomorrow to show you around the campsites. Wait till uh, I get to meet everybody tomorrow at breakfast so they don't know I'm a, or so they know that I'm not a creeper. So, okay, well, looks like we got us a dandy weekend in store and the weather I think is gonna be perfect. All right, we'll uh, check back with you later. And for now, over and out. Good morning. Today is Saturday, September 14th. And uh, we're in the group camp at Caledonia and I slept great. Uh, let's see, I got up to pee five times, but once I got emptied out, I slept fantastic. So it's about 7.05 in the morning and there are hammocks everywhere. Um, I smell breakfast cooking. I'm gonna go up and get myself something to eat here in a minute. It was a good night. Um, this place is a little close to the road, but I'm used to that. So I slept great. So today I'm hoping to hike a little bit of the Appalachian Trail, Appalachian Trail and look around i don't want to leave and go anywhere because i don't want to uh, lose my parking spot okay we'll be back at it later
Okay, we're at the Hosack Run group camping area and we got a full house here. There are cars parked everywhere. A lot of people from, just people from everywhere. North Carolina, Ohio, New Jersey, uh, Virginia. A lot of people travel a long ways to this one, much farther than I did. Everybody's up and around, having a good time. There's a Virginia plate. And I'm gonna go down and get myself something to eat. And hopefully there's more hot water for coffee. I'm out for a little walk and apparently there's a some kind of bicycle race here this weekend because we got people directing traffic and bikes everywhere. Pretty cool. Um, like a kid in a candy store here. Uh, if you like bicycles and hammocks, this is the place to be. Got bikes going everywhere. This is pretty neat. Four, three, two, one, see ya. Check it out, I'm hiking the AT. Granted, I only hiked a mile of it, but I hiked the AT. Pretty cool. All right, I get down off of this hill and I'm headed back to the campground.
All right, everybody's a little preoccupied with cornhole, so we'll uh, do a little walk through here. Quite a smattering of stuff. Lots of hammocks, a few tents here and there. I don't know if the tents are actually being occupied or if they're being used for storage. A lot of interesting stuff though. YouTuber invasion. Oh no, here he is again. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen you yet today? No. How'd you sleep? Looked real great last night. Oh really? I didn't either. Just to get those tired of them. All right, these are the prime sites here. Waterfront. Sound of water to lull you to sleep. Let's take a look at it. All right, let's keep walking. Got ASIM tarps here. I just don't see any way, man. I think one good rainstorm, you'd be soaked. Even coming straight down. Holy crap, man. Now that's a stretch. Not only are those trees far apart, they are big. Wow. All right, we're headed to my house. I got things kind of tore apart because I was uh, doing some reconfiguring. got a tarp here that I think is pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of glare on it, but you get the idea. Looks like wood shingles.
Yeah, here we got a hammock on a stand. Yeah, that's something unusual to do with your uh, patches. Here we have somebody with a lot of faith that it's gonna not gonna rain. Here's a nice printed tarp. This one here is pretty unusual. It looks like my tarp. Pine needles. Well, now I'm losing track of where I've been and where I haven't, but I think I got everything pretty well covered. You see, there's a lot of people here. I think 45 signed up, but I think there's more than that. Okay, tonight we got the, uh, got dinner, potluck dinner, and, uh, the raffle, um, we all know I never win anything in raffles, but it's still fun to watch. I'll bring you back when that all happens. That's a tarp? No, I think that's an 11 that? foot hammock. 11 foot hammock? The starter. Oh man, I went to Little Orange Spider. <laughs> and uh, bean bags too? <laughs> the used, used bean bags? <laughs> oh, they were new till today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
job of getting all that up and going. And uh, and the people that help with breakfast and everybody that helps bring this on. The people that brought um, brought all the foods and the snacks, which were absolutely fantastic. And also make sure you please take them back with you so I don't have to eat all these cookies. All right, so uh, if this is your first time, um, first time here, we do a raffle, it's a big deal. And we have uh, great people that donate these products for us so that we can put this on. That's why it's free, it's for Facebook Park, it's for Facebook Park. And um, I want to go over some of those and what the prizes are. In two tiers. Six, five. Double checking. Four seven six zero. Oh, damn. Nice. Oh, you only had a forty. All right, back up again. Back up again. You stay okay. up there. <laughs> Go down a little bit. Hey, she only bought four hey. tickets. Good shuffle with them. Well, she's got two more. Four four nine five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, 7 o'clock on Saturday night, and we just got done with the potluck dinner and the raffle, and I ate too much, and I didn't win anything. But at least my money goes to a good cause to pay for the campsites. And so now I'm on my way down to the park office to uh, use the Wi-Fi, let my wife know I'm still alive and uh, I took my pills already so I'm good there then I'm gonna go back and probably go to bed it's been a long day okay I'll check with you before I go to sleep or I'll try you didn't care. Yeah. Kids are resilient yeah. Yeah. Play yeah. Steve, yeah. Play yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't play traffic all Good morning. Today is Sunday, September 15th, and I see the place starting to clear out a little bit already. People tearing down. Uh, I'm not in much of a hurry to leave, but I am in kind of a hurry to get home. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to piddle around here a little bit and then uh, pack up slowly. I'm not going to worry about breakfast. I'm going to stop somewhere on the way home, get some coffee and a donut or something. But uh, looking at my neighbors over here that are first timers. And it looks like she's on the ground. Oh, well. Okay, well, uh, I'll get packing up here and I'll check back before I leave.
geez, I'm about uh, 50 miles into a 200 mile commute and it just occurred to me that I never did any kind of outro or anything like that. I just, uh, I have this phobia about forgetting something or leaving some expensive piece of gear behind. So I get focused on that and forget about other stuff. So yeah, so that's uh, Mid-Atlantic Hammock Hangers Fall 2024 at Caledonia State Park. It was a good time, good food, uh, bought raffle tickets, didn't win anything, but that's pretty typical of my experience with that kind of stuff. So, hey, uh, I got 150 miles to go and um, I got to pay attention to my GPS. I got, I forgot my paper map, but I got directions written down and uh, I got that thing even though it doesn't always send you the way you want to go. So, hey, uh, until next time, this is Hiking and Backpacking at 62, signing off. Don't know when the next time is I'll get out, but I can assure you that I'll bring you along. Thanks.